Welcome back to the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me today. I really do appreciate that. If you're new to the channel, if you're new to the podcast, thank you for joining. My name is Lewis Huckstep and I'm a mindset coach. I'm an entrepreneur and I've been able to get to a point where I've scaled and removed myself from a business at the age of 24 to be able to do what I love every single day and create a life that I love and create a life on my terms. And I love helping people do the same thing, creating a life that you love where you wake up and do things that excite you every single day. Remember what you felt like on Christmas morning. You were excited to jump out of bed and go tackle the Christmas tree and get those presents. Why can't you have a life like that every single day? Why can't you have a life where you're doing shit that you love, you have a relationship that you love, you have a career or business that you love, your finances are amazing, you don't get anxious checking your bank account, you've worked on your mental health, you're healing and letting go of the past, and your self-worth is through the roof. Why can't you do that? You can, there's just a couple of things you need to figure out and apply to yourself, and that's what I'm here to do to help you do that. With that being said, guys, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel below, like and comment down below. It helps me reach more people, impact more people, change more lives. And without further ado, let's get into it. I'm just going to be sharing a simple but life-changing mentality that has truly changed my life. Since understanding this and applying this to my life, my life has just leveled up in my business, in my career, in my health, in my finances, in my relationship. It's really served me well. And it's the concept around doing what is hard, doing hard things. I'm going to share a story. So I just read a beautiful book. It's called Discipline is Destiny by Ryan Holiday. It's a fantastic book. Go check it out. Really, really awesome. And he shares a story at the start of the book about Hercules. I'm not sure if you know Hercules, if you're into Greek mythology, etc. But Hercules, he shares his story. And Hercules, he came to a crossroad in his life where if he was to go left, there was this goddess... Um, empress that was luring him towards her and she was offering him all the joys, all the love, all the pleasure, all the temptation that life has to offer, all the food, never has to work hard, all the sex, all the beautiful women. And she was luring him there with temptation. That's what she was luring him to. But ultimately, if he was to take that option, would lead him to weakness, would lead him to not fulfilling his potential and lead him to ultimately not be known to who he is known to be today. And then the other option, there was another empress, there was another goddess luring him another direction, but she was luring him or tempting him with challenge, with tribulation, with hard work, with failure, with doing things that are hard, but... It would ultimately lead to strength, reaching your full potential and ultimately having the legacy that Hercules ended up having. And obviously for people that follow Hercules, he took the second option. He took the option of what was hard because when you do what is easy, life gets hard. When you do what is hard, life gets easy. And if you can really just feel into that and really start to think where you do that or where you can start doing more of that, your life fucking changes because we're so guilty being human beings is we genuinely or always look for the path of least resistance. We are programmed because of our survival instinct to look for what's easy. That's why we have cars. That's why we have Uber Eats. It's why we have the beautiful in in um, homes that we, we create because we love our homes and it's very comfortable. We have air con. We've literally created a life around comfort. And I'm all about comfort too. Like I like enjoy myself. I enjoy the finer things in life as well. But when you get too addicted and you do too much of that temptation, of that comfort, it makes you weak. And then that shows up in all areas of your life. When you do what is easy, you become weaker and that's going to affect your business and your career. It's going to affect your relationship. It's going to affect your health. It's going to affect your family. It's going to affect your ability to be a great parent. Because you're doing what is easy, you're not challenging yourself. Let's think about the gym. If you go to the gym and as soon as you feel any discomfort or any form of pain, you, sa- you just said, well, this sucks. I'm going to stop and go home. Would you ever have any growth with your body? 
Would you have a body that is strong and fit and that you're proud to look at in the mirror? You would not because you're not doing what is challenging. You're not doing what is hard. And that's the part right there that most people are doing, a lot of it unconsciously, in their life day to day. Because if we go back to that story of Hercules where you've got that T intersection and you've got that left or right decision, that moment of decision, we have those moments every single day, multiple times a day. Is it to get out of bed and go to the gym when you're tired, when it's cold, when you could hit the snooze button and roll back over? Or do you get up even though you don't feel like it, even though your body's sore, even though it's cold outside? Because you know by doing that, you're going to feel stronger. Your mental health is going to be sharp. You're going to be energized and that's going to set up the rest of your day. Is it in your relationship when your partner says something that actually hurts you or doesn't sit well with you? Do you have that tough conversation? Do you bring it up and set a boundary and communicate to your partner that that's not okay what they just did? Or do you put your head in the sand? Do you sweep it underneath the rug because you're afraid of the tough conversation, because it's, un uh, it's uncomfortable? There's discomfort in having that tough conversation because if you do what is easy, it will make your relationship weak where having those tough, transparent conversations makes you stronger as a partner, makes you stronger as a relationship, as a couple. Is it when you take out the rubbish or when you walk past rubbish, do you say, I'm going to pick that up even though I don't feel like it, even though it's out of my way, even though it wasn't even my rubbish, it was someone else, it was my partner, it was my friend, it was my kids. Or do you pick it up because you have those standards, because you don't tolerate that? Another, another line that really resonates with me and it's a big slap in the face to me as well. The standard you walk past is the standard that you tolerate. If you were to walk into your house or to your office or where you just walk into any, any place that you work or live and there was a giant dog shit in the middle of the room, would you just walk straight past it and pretend it wasn't there? Or would you say, you know what? That's disgusting, that's gross, that's a low standard, I'm gonna clean that up. Yes, most people would probably clean it up, but what are you walking past that you're not? How come you would clean up the dog shit, but you don't make your bed in the morning? How come you'd clean up the dog shit, but you don't pull your partner up when they say something that hurts you? Or that you don't put the rubbish in the bin, or you don't take the rubbish out in time, or the standard of your car is terrible? What's the difference? It's at some point between the dog shit and whatever it is that you're tolerating is your standard. So to improve the quality of your life, do hard things, whether it's going to the gym, whether it's doing an ice bath, having a cold shower, having a tough conversation and raise your standards. We all can. I catch myself every single day. Where's the dog shit? Where's the low standard? in my life that I could be better at, that I can be harder on myself. Not because I just wanna be this kind of narcissistic or super hard military-minded person, to a degree maybe, but I'm doing it because if I do what is hard, my life will get easier in the future. But if I'm doing what's easy, I'm avoiding the tough conversation, I'm not looking after my health, I'm training really, I'm avoiding the discomfort, I'm weakening myself, my mindset, my body, and therefore my relationship, my business, my finances, my health, and all the above. So my question to you or my, my opportunity, my invitation to you is to look to do hard things every single day. What are you avoiding that you can be doing? Is it the tough conversations? Is it going to the gym? Is it eating the right foods? Is it cleaning up after yourself? Is it raising the standard of how you live and how you talk and how you look after yourself and how you read? Are you reading every single day? Are you working on yourself every single day? Are you doing self-development? Are you investing money into yourself? That can be hard for a lot of people. And secondly, what is the standard in your life that you are tolerating? What's the standard that you can raise?
It might be the way that you dress. And I'm not saying there's a difference between having high standards and then just trying to dress to impress other people. Because you can wear pretty stock standard clothes, but look after it. It's kind of like you don't have to, okay, Lewis, from what you've said, I've got to go buy a brand new car. No, 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 no. Just look after the one you have. There's a difference between, like you might have seen people that they have, a, a, I guess, a night, an okay car, an average car in terms of what it's worth, but they look after it nicely. It's clean versus people that have a very nice car in terms of how much it costs to get the car and they treat it like shit. They don't clean it. It's dirty. There's rubbish all through it. So there's a difference between, oh, I've got to go buy more expensive things. No, 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 no. It's just look after and take pride and have those high standards for the things that you have in your life. I hope you got some value from this, guys. This has been monumental for myself. It's been huge for me. Constantly asking myself, am I choosing the hard decision right now? Or am I taking the easy option? Am I choosing challenge or am I choosing temptation? And if you can start to find those little moments, those little decisions that you're making day to day, moment to moment, your life will change forever. Hope you got value from this, guys. If you haven't already, please like the video. Comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What's your biggest takeaway from this video? Send it to a friend if you got value from it. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Much love, guys. I appreciate you. Thank you for consuming my podcast. Thank you for being a part of my journey. I love you. I appreciate you. I'll see you on the next podcast. See ya.